What is up, you amazing people? Pro Player Apathy here, back with a brand new video. Today, we're going to be showcasing the Krig 6. Now, this is an S tier AR. It easily competes with AK 47. Still, I think the AK 47 is the best AR in the game. But today, we're going to be showing you guys some crazy, crazy gameplay, dominant gameplay, and the class as well. So, if you guys have been following the pro scene or watching any competitive gameplay, you will know that about most or at least half of the pros and half of the ARs are using the Craig 6 right now. So for the optical, I do have the mill stop reflex. Now, obviously the microflex is also another one used very often, but those two are the best in my opinion. For the muzzle, we got the infantry compensator for the vertical recoil control. Before I continue, I really want to go over this quickly. The horizontal recoil control on this gun is so slow and so low, and that's why it beams. So if you can lower the vertical recoil control even more, it beams even harder. For the barrel, we got the 19.7 Ranger. We got the steady aim basic laser. We got the field agent grip for the even more recoil control we got the 40 round mag we got the sars jungle grip but i would recommend the elastic wrap whenever you get it and for stock we have no stock but i would recommend the raider stock as well whenever you get it so now that you've seen the class i'm going to show you some crazy gameplay a 90 kill gameplay and a 100 kill gameplay let's roll it What is going on guys so we got some cartel hard point here yes it is pro player apathy back using a craig now in my opinion easily a top tier ar you can say you can say s tier as you can see you kill me with a stun only a few people understand that reference <laughs> but wow look at that beginning already starting in pretty hot and i'm gonna get taken out by big peso so now the Krig is a slightly slower killing ar than when you compare guns like the ak-47 but does it mean it's horrible actually no it's still a very very strong and good ar on um, this guy keeps going to the tower and he's gonna snake me now myself i'm more of an ak-47 fan uh, i still think the ak-47 is the best ar and it's slightly better than the craig but in terms of beams and range the craig is a little bit better and obviously when you're shooting people who can shoot very straight sometimes that's what you're looking for i would have killed that guy if one he didn't have an aug and two if his teammate didn't help shoot me now the Krig, in my opinion is also not only a very good gun it's it's a slightly easier gun because it's quite easy no he just shocking to me bro and you know shotguns will always be a problem in call of duty because they're hard to balance and that is a fact tell me what in game that a shotgun was an op in yes i'll wait here all day leave it in the comments below but we're still gonna be using a craig here and just showcasing this now it is a little bit in terms of a newbier gun just because it's a lot easier to shoot and obviously it has if you ever check the stats it actually has this, like basically almost zero horizontal recoil and horizontal horizontal recoil is actually the harder recoil to control so if you're just controlling mainly vertical and obviously get having attachments to give you vertical control um the gun is fairly easier to use nice little nade there nice little beam there stim shout out three piece right there now respectfully as a pro player i just want to say actually it has nothing to do with me being a pro player but i just want to say thank you for all the love in the videos as always it's been pretty awesome and pretty crazy to see um a lot of my videos have been getting about uh, of course of course it's him it's him it's the one who keeps killing me. but a lot of my videos have been getting about a thousand plus likes which is honestly very awesome man and i do want to thank you guys who've been liking and supporting me and i always recommend highly recommend for you guys to leave a like if you don't mind and i'm gonna keep posting some amazing content for you guys because i choked now something i really do like about the critic other than the the very good range and damage as you can see if i pre-aim i usually get a kill oh he caught me off guard two down but i also like the ability it has to beam now obviously beam is pretty pretty uh, self-explanatory but it shoots very straight <laughs> basically what i'm trying to say as you, as you see i the way i killed the, that guy but it also has a pretty decent strafing speed which I, honestly i enjoy as well I've always, i always like guns that have a little straight to it as you can see, like right there like sometimes the little bit straight makes a difference when you get a kill and it can make the shots easier i don't know if you guys ever watch my aim tips as, you, as i pop a four piece but i don't know if you guys ever watch my aim tips but i always talk about like how i use both sticks to shoot and how i think it's very important to use both sticks to shoot so if you're not doing that i highly recommend it make sure to do that right now use your both sticks and i just kind of wasted that but it's all good let my attack helicopter right quick so maybe we get another one but use your both sticks when you shoot it is the most effective way to um you know 
hit your the best shots and be as precise as possible because you're gonna kind of strafe into them and obviously sometimes people have little strafes some guns have little strafes but right there like i strafe right there that specific kill right there i snap i shot shooting his shoulder to the right i move my character to the left it drags the aim onto the guy so strafing is really good and some, the more uh, a, a gun like the more like strafing speed a gun has sometimes the easier it is to shoot before that reason so i'm gonna be doing my best to be pretty much very consistent with uploads all year long um i'm gonna try to do daily as much as possible obviously once the, the pro season uh continues and starts to get a little bit more serious i might slow down just, just a little bit and you know it's normal you know you know as a pro player we have a lot of responsibilities we obviously prioritize winning and you know being a better player and sometimes it's hard to uh balance everything in life with competing with posting very consistent content but i will try my best to upload every day and even when i'm not uploading i would try my best to um upload almost every single day and i, I want to be a little more consistent consistent this year i was pretty much all last year until like the last two months of the season but pretty much with a rank play um rumored rank play coming into effect and not like last year i mean last year was fun but it wasn't really oh my lordy there's five of them but it wasn't really a rank play it was more of a just like a like a playlist there wasn't really ranked involved nice little kobe there rest in peace um but this is gonna be really fun if there's actual rank system and i feel like i could make really good content and grind that and it'll be fun for you guys to, to to watch like i could come up with some really cool fun things uh with the rank play you know we could do some crazy crazy comebacks some trash talking games or somebody's trash talking me or some some tips or like you know there's so much content you know and i'm just very excited like i, I want to pop those three pieces of rank play and it'd be like oh my god apathy you're so good and i'll be like no i'm not i'm kind of ass be like a jk but yeah thank you man i'm gonna beam him and then he's gonna be like dude what the fuck he can't kill him then i'm gonna free fire he's gonna be like i'm not dead and i'm like i'm dead though and then it's, everyone's just confused got the jump shot here what the hell i'm so confused. okay now i'm actually confused I actually got me I'm gonna this guy oh and no, i lost some damn bushes and of course would greatly appreciate if you leave a like on all the videos when you want to if you can especially if you enjoy them and then don't forget to subscribe to the channel for the under never-ending content for you guys now here i am in the tower i'm gonna try to get some kills can't even see any of these guys anymore it's just a whole bunch of bushes man you thought you were killing the wrong guy i mean you were definitely killing the wrong guy because i'm alive one shot oh, it feels nice that sound I'm actually running a little low on ammo. That's never good. Kill this guy. Kill that guy. Turn around. He kill that guy. I'm gonna get shot in the back. Got a simp shot. He thinks he's gonna kill me. Okay, he didn't, but I'm almost dead. Time for the missiles. Bang, bang, bang. 84, 29. I have probably third most hill time on the team. So you can't say I was completely ignoring objective. And we still get smoke. Oh my god. Please leave a like if you hate SBMM. 87, dude. Please leave a like if you hate this like SBMM. They say? As you can see, you give me what it's done. I'm better than your apathy. No cap. The kills aren't add adding up. Now, it's funny enough, this is Nuketown Hardpoint, not on the Nuketown playlist. So I'm just playing regular Hardpoint. Um, Nuketown 24-7 actually ends up getting a little crazy, but that's completely fine because I get to dominate with the Craig. I sold three pieces to start off the game right there. I'm going to hit a reload. You're probably wondering, hey, this guy I'm watching, I don't know you him. I just started watching him, but he seems like a rooftop camper. Well, I promise you, I'm not. I'm not a building camper. I'm not a rooftop camper. I just had to go up there real quick with the Craig and, you know, get some kills. Like I said, Craig, it's a beam. Nice little two piece there. It's a beam. It's very easy to use. If you have the flinch resistance attachment on, um, that attachment, so it's been proven that it's not really a factor like closest range. Um, but obviously when you start thinking about gunfights from far, it is a factor. It does help a little bit. It can make a difference. And uh, with ARs, you usually do want that attachment on because it can make all the difference. Like that kill right there. I think around that range, ish plus farther really helped probably wondering how i got back up here i don't know i decided to go up here but don't worry it's gonna pay off it's gonna give me two kills 
Take a three. And my whole team's gonna die. And pretty much we're back at square one. And yeah, but it's all good. You wonder why I'm still back here. Something that's always like suited me and like something I love about Call of Duty is like going for a lot of kills and playing aggressive. Now, obviously I know, you know, it's not like a nuke in gameplay sometimes. And I feel like, you know, I've gotten a nuke when I really try to get one. It's still really hard, especially with SBMM. Um, but you know, I noticed that some people's play style, that's what some people like, but it's just not me, man. And I really hope you guys do enjoy the more aggressive type play style and it's more enjoyable to watch because for me, it's more enjoyable to play that way. And I think for the most part, it's more enjoyable to watch as well. And I'm just lighting everyone up like a Christmas tree on a Sunday. Like I've said before, the Craig six is one of the one or more, one of the weaker ARs and maps like Nuketown where it's very close range very very close range obviously it's not its most dominant area but don't get me wrong no not get me wrong i'm still doing well i'm just notifying you guys that there's other maps that it's better at okay that's all like these ranges so those like far ranges gunfights there like the krieg is just takes over that's where it really takes over i saw beams right there this guy's gonna challenge me three two one he actually did it, dude. Oh, no. And he has a freaking streak. What is that? Uh, I think it's a chopper gunner. Quick little tip real quick. If this has ever happened to you, take off your third perk and slap on a cold-blooded. This can make all the difference into staying alive and winning the game. As you can see, they have no... The chopper gunner has no idea that I'm here. Oh, it's going to secure me three kills. Almost four. But the chopper gunner is going to react after hearing a lot of team calls from his teammates. He's on the he's on he's on And I'm dead. It's all good because we are still alive but barely breathing. The chopper gunner seems to be gone. And now they are screwed. No mercy for the rest of the list. No mercy whatsoever. Pure destruction. Now watch your fire, shit. Ch attacky chopper available. Call the shriek. We're about to hit 100 bombs for you guys. For you guys. Hope you've been enjoying the quality gameplay. This guy's going to be able to get targeted. Now we're going to jump out the house. We aren't scared. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Like I said, sometimes all the difference is having that cold-blooded class hit the nice little beam up there. Attack chopper, one off the 100 bomb. I have to get this. I have to get this for you guys. No, this is it. This is it. And he secures the 100 bomb. Nice little snap there. Too far there. 101, baby. And that's a GG. Guys, as always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. It helps me a ton. I hope you guys support me and appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the videos. Hope you guys keep enjoying the content. I'm going to keep grinding. And you already know what it is. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Much love and respect wherever you are. Peace out.